And a very good day, evening, uh, whatever, everybody. We're not going to hang around doing a load of intros and stuff. We're going to get straight into the meat, but we're allowed one minute. Okay, so if you are watching this on Action Replay, skip forward about a minute, because I'd like to say hello to Mike. <laughs> there we are. Now, as you remember from uh, Auntie Dawn's quiz last Christmas, <laughs> and she remembered she didn't talk for the first two or three minutes, and I told her, I told everybody on the stream that she was deaf and dumb and mute, and she burst out laughing. Oh, that's good. Anyway, hello, Mike. Let's give you an audio check. Uh, audio check. All right, audio can check. everybody hear Mike? Audio check. Audio, audio, audio check. All right, that's fine. You're fine. Um, now, you'd be pleased to know that Mike and I have started drinking already, and I hope you are as well. The reason we're doing a quiz tonight is that uh, it's Sunday night uh, now and in the UK tomorrow because we've got a king who put a crown on his head yesterday. Wore a nice we've hat. got a day off, a hat. We have a, what's it called? Bank holiday. Yes. I don't know why it's a bank holiday, but it's a holiday anyway. Uh, it was a nice hat. It was a very nice hat, very it expensive really hat. Nice hat. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Auntie Dawn was wonderful. In fact, let's get Auntie Dawn on here again. Maybe we'll have a, a summer party and we'll get Dawn there. Then that's fine. Uh, right then. A very good evening, everybody. We're doing a little fun quiz. To start the thing off, I'm going to make it really easy, OK? So fingers on buzzers, please. I don't care if you're slow or fast. I think we should have correct answers. But we're also very interested in incorrect answers because Mike enjoys incorrect answers. Mike, tell me, uh, can you see the live chat on your screen? Yes. yes, thank you. Brilliant. OK, fine. Yes. OK, so this is the fun round, round one, and the concept of gravity was discovered by which famous physicist? The concept... i tell you what I could do. I could be really clever here. Copy that. I could paste it in here. The concept of gravity was discovered by which famous physicist? And I don't... Steve Jobs is absolutely right. By the way, Mike, yes, after yes. round four... Oh, sorry, I was talking about Mike radio stuff. K8, Mr. Death, if he wants to join... Uh, uh, yes, Mr. MRD. If he wants to join after the quiz that Mike and I are doing here, the link's on Discord and the create on Josh's creators. That's fine. So, yeah, it was indeed. Apple pie is the correct answer, or as Tim put it right, as Icarus. Um, did I hear a beep there? Yeah. Mike, sorry. are you playing with your radio? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Mike has a new radio, actually. He's got the RC2000 remote head for a TS2000. I have, yep. But it was it was beep. Newton. It was it was Newton. So I'll just find any old Newton person. Apple pie. That's a very good one as well. Isaac Newton. I think David uh, actually spelt Isaac correctly as well. I'm not very good at spelling Isaac. I've always got to look that up. Well, they all got it wrong. Yeah. Mike. Yes. yes. What is the most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere? The most abundant gas, and it's nothing to do with me eating beans last night. It, it did fill the room, though, to be fair. <laughs> now, there is about... So, so, so did the so gas. Did the gas. <laughs> methane. <laughs> methane, says Mike. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's Mike gone? God, he... There, there he is. Look, That's there. right. And she can... This guy said hydrogen. Can you imagine lighting a fag? <laughs> Uh, Nathan's got it right, yeah. There was a few people got it right, actually. Uh, which is fine. So this is the easy round, OK? Remember that. Wouldn't it be great if it was helium? Maybe it is helium. Maybe it is helium. And we're actually speaking really, you know, if we didn't have helium in the atmosphere... Well, we wouldn't know, we would, would we? really deep. Yeah, we wouldn't really know. Really deep. We At know. what temperature, ladies and gentlemen, are Celsius and Fahrenheit... Equal. By the way, Mike, I don't know if you noticed, but um, there is about a 20 second delay via StreamYard all the way to um, YouTube. I noticed that. Really? Yeah. Um, tonight, I noticed that as well. Really? Really? Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. 
Really? So I'm not, I'm not quite sure. That, uh, Anton was first on that. I'm not quite sure if I paste. It's not funny, Mike. If I really? paste the real. <laughs> Did you know there's a 20 second delay? <laughs> really? It, it is, it is, it is minus 40. Yes. Okay. All right. Now this one is, do you I remember? Was, I thought it was quite warm today. To be fair. I, I'm I've amended this one. What was the name of the first man-made satellite launched by the Soviet Union? And in what year? Really? Really? Are we to answer in the chat? You can do what you want. Yeah, I don't have... Um, it's just for fun, by the way. Maybe we didn't explain, Mike, that this was just for fun. It's just mindless fun, OK? So you can answer or not, all right? And the good answers... Uh, it wasn't 64. I'll tell you when it was. It was... It was 57, and it was Sputnik, says Reggie. There's a couple of uh, interesting spellings of Sputnik. <laughs> of What's this text? Green? Uh, is this some code to change things? It's not working here. Sputnik. Uh, oh, here we are. Sputnik. <laughs> Sk Sky, Sk Sky Ski, Sky says ski. Tim. It, it was 57, actually. It was quite amazing. I it thought it was big, 59. Was it? it wasn't that big. It used to go beep. Mike raised it was Putin. Right. Um, I, I much prefer his, um, his other name, which is Chamber Pot. Chamber Pot. That's a Putin, isn't it? Oh, bl oh no. <clears throat> Gonna sneeze. Excuse me. All right, so that's fine then. Um, what is a material that will not carry an electrical charge? What is a material that will not carry an electrical charge? A Tesco's carrier bag. By the way, Reggie reckons it's Sputnik 1. I think it was Sputnik 1 after they released Sputnik 2. And it's not the c correct name, it's correct name, but very good, Reggie. I love you. It's an insulator. Ah, oh, wait a minute. It's a Tesco's bag. <laughs> Mike the, reckons the handles it's, break. Mike, Mike reckons it's a DX commander. <laughs> Fiberglass is actually, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, think. Now, brass, that's quite a good in, uh, conductor, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, glass. These are examples. Glass is one of the best. Uh, but it's called an insulator, that's right. Um, now then, on the opposite side of the scale, what is... I made all these up, by the way. We can tell. <laughs> what metal is the best conductor of electricity? I'm going to really? ask myself... Really? Silver. That's right. It's not gold, it's silver. No. It is. That's what that's what the internet that's no. I, have you got have you got internet at your house, Mike? Yes. Because <laughs> no. I thought it was really? gold as well. Really? <laughs> I thought it was gold as well. But it says it's silver. So I just got a question then. So why do they bother? Tinning all of the um, contacts with gold rather than silver, because silver, uh, cause silver cheaper, tarnishes. Uh, silver tarnishes, tarnishes, and gold doesn't. All right, uh -huh. so now you know. Okay, oh, you don't need to call me by name on this one, but what is the biggest animal in the world? <laughs> <laughs> it begins with Callum. <laughs> It is Nathan's got it. It's the blue whale. In fact, it's apparently called the Antarctic blue whale. Really? They don't know much about their the breed. <laughs> they don't know much about the breeding cycles, do they? No. I'll show that one. Um, oh wait a minute! I missed that. I missed that. Oh, here we are. 
So Brian Young reigns as the biggest animal in the world as his ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in what way? That's right. Mike Mike's close on the sperm whale without the H. All right, so uh, we're getting close to amateur radio now with this question, which is, what is the perimeter of a circle called? The outside. <laughs> Go on, choke your bugger. <laughs> perimeter of a circle. Yes, circumference with an E, Philip. But absolutely right. Oh, in fact... Mr. Randall, he looks very... Look at Randall Rash. K-R-5-E-E. Look, -E -E. look, look, at, look at them all. It's the conference call. Oh, uh, Mike reckons it's the hippocampus. <laughs> but it's, 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 the it's the circumference. So radius is half the circumference. But I've got to go back because ran... There was, here we are. Look, look at his picture, Randall's picture. No, no. Ra look radius. Off? Radius is half the diameter, darling. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Yes, anyway, true. Randall, I think your picture's blooming nice, mate. Really nice. And um, I don't have to paste this in, but I will do anyway. Copy that. How many bones does a shark have? I need a refill. Are we including his teeth? Uh, oh, good point. Well, that's that's what they are, good points. But you don't want to be bitten by a shark, do you? Do you know, do you know their, their teeth rotate? Is that right? Yeah, apparently. Did I? Oh, here we are. Twelve, all of them, none. That's It's correct, it is none, actually. It's all cartilage, that's correct. Zero, says Brian... And four multiplied by R divided by C is how many bones does a shark have? <laughs> 60 million. Ah, oh, now interesting. James reckons the upper and lower jaw and the rest is cartilage. Huh. Oh, and you're right, Mike. So Brett's reminding us that the teeth keep moving forward all the time in a kind of a slow whatever. Uh, right, this one is really easy. So if you get ready with your keyboards, chaps, you don't need Google for this one. What does a Geiger counter measure? Geigers. <laughs> It says one Geiger, two Geiger, three Geiger. <laughs> Has Brett got a special connection got, into the internet? Yeah, he's on a gigabit. He's on a Geiger bit. Geigers. <laughs> Mike's absolutely cock on me in that look. Duh, Geigers, <laughs> God's sake. Don't. Clicks. Da, 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 da. Hello, Andy Cowley. <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely. Nuclear bananas. Yes, I've had a few of those today. Yeah. OK, well, that's the end of round one. Um, no clear winner. But what does it measure? It measures radiation. Not Geiger's. No. <laughs> well, whatever. Why is it called a Geiger counter? Good point. OK, so bonus question, ladies and gentlemen. Where does the word Geiger come from? All right. Okay, I so could, rads. I could tell you. I could tell you if you want. Rads says Alan. Something to do with rads. All right. Okay, and that actually rings a bell. What does N V I S stand for? So Anton Retton is near vertical things, and it is. Oh, he invented it, Mister Geiger. <clears throat> Sir Ronald. NVIS. Here we are. Got oh, the right. Jeff. Oh, there's Jeff a couple Geiger, of people. Ronald. Ronald uh, near brother. vertical skywave. And also, we've got uh, this, one here, <laughs> uh, this one here. This one here. There's a few. There's a few. There's a few. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people. 
have got that i think he's i think rian from down he he is he's same roughly the same time zone but the other I'll hemisphere get, i'll get this get the sentence out in a minute hemisphere okay so this a one word answer this one is one word answer under normal circumstances when are you allowed to send an encrypted message to another amateur now when i phone mike which is mm, <laughs> always almost de daily <laughs> always he encrypted. sends me encrypted messages all the time i don't have a blummer clear mike was playing with a ball the other day in the dog field and it got bigger and bigger and bigger and i was wondering what it was and then it hit me <laughs> Do you like that one, Mike? It's like frisbee throwing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then it hit me. Uh, Mike was right. Never. Uh, there's a few mics here, but you're, you're never. You're not allowed to um, to do a an encrypted message. Okay, we're using digital modes. How high do we run the ALC? How high do we run the ALC? Till it melts. <laughs> <laughs> Cryptic all the time, encrypted never. Very good. M7 TFT. Nice call sign. Yeah, I like that. Oh, when the XYL is about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, six foot six. How high should you run the ALC? Tim reckons it's six foot six. Roland's absolutely correct. There's a few people here. Zero. Uh, hardly any. I mean, that's a good one. If you just if it just comes on every now and again, isn't it? That's okay. I don't, do you do much digital, Mike? Not really, no. No. Um, no. I'm, 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 you, Yesu Fusion, that's about it, but it's not. Well, yeah, okay. All right, let's assume we've got a dipole that's resonant at around about 7.2 megahertz. At approximately, what, what frequency will it be resonant again on the next harmonic? Cheers, Mike. On the next harmonic? Have you got to go to the... Are you still on your first one? No. Oh, thank goodness for that. This is about the fourth. Mm. When I dropped Mike a text the other day, I said, can you make sure you've had a few beers before we do this? Because I don't want to be the only one. <laughs> um, 42 is the answer to me. Right? Uh, it is, um, yeah, yeah it's 42. Roughly, uh, Reggie Love, near, yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably about 21.8, but I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Ah, that's not uh, the next harmonic, though, is it? That is not yeah. the next harmonic. It's the next well, usable harmonic, but it's not the next harmonic. Philip has got, mathematically, and Anton, they've all got this right, actually. In reality, it seems to be... What are you shaking your head for? Because the next harmonic is twice. That's the next usable harmonic. Ah, yeah, next resonant harmonic. Yes. Well, OK, fine. Yeah, bloody people that set these questions. I don't know. Okay. All right. Ignoring is the 15 meter band. Ignoring um, Gloucester as an answer, what is the next most sought after DX entity? Really? <coughs> really? I guess it must be, mustn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's North Korea. That's right. There's a few people got it there now. And Mike. Mike's got it right as well. Mike's really quick off the ball today. Yeah. Mike's got a right, nice little... Um, He's got, he hasn't got he hasn't the got delay. delay. He hasn't got the delay, no. Uh, Wyoming, right. <laughs> <laughs> North something, North Korea. Um, is that a place, Gladys? <laughs> Ron reckons it's him. <laughs> Very good run. Um, they, do. they do run. Uh, Dave wants to know: Do we all need to drink while we're doing this? Yes. It helps, doesn't it? It's the only way that we can cope. Okay, see who's quick off the ball on this one, right? You are talking to a friend on fourteen three one seven, upper side band, twenty meter band. Your friend has got some local QRM, and he tells you to go up twenty five kilohertz. What frequency does he expect you to meet him on? Now, 
that looks so spammy. Just as well, it doesn't say for free SEX, click <laughs> this link. It's a shame because I was about to click it. <laughs> 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 okay, 317 plus 20 for 30 with 20. I don't know. What's the right answer? Anton, is that the right answer? I think it is. 342. Yeah, it is. 342. I only. <laughs> That's Nathan reckons it was going to be 1.21 gigawatts. Great Scott! <laughs> I know. 32 Actually, bits. You, yes. You know, you you were, you were could have done that one so it was out of band. Oh, Mike, that would have been good. That would have been yeah, good. Never mind. Now, Next you time. bought... I'm going to talk about this one. You bought an FT-101 not so long ago, last year, the year before. Or Maybe. 902. Yeah. With big old valve radio, Yesu. Oh, yeah, the oh, 101 yeah. ZD. ZD, right. So this question is... The last version they did was the FT-101 ZD Mark III. What bands did it cover out of the box? Oh, I don't know. This one's been played with. <laughs> yours, what, yours does 11, not 10? Yeah. Afraid so. Mike, Mike reckons that um, uh, it does 27. Mine did 27, because all the... 10 meter crystals were taken out of it. So now, so 40, 22. It did 15. Actually, the Mark III did all the walk bands as well. And it didn't do, it didn't do um, six. No. But it did do Queen and Def Leppard. <laughs> so, yes. So, Tim is uh, nearly, where's Tim's question? So it did. It did the one. The, the, the regular ZD did um, 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10. And then the Mark III came along and they put some other clicks and switches and circuit boards and it got 13, 17, and 12 on it as well. And I've got a funny feeling yeah, this guy's go. got it. Here we are. It's, BME's he's got, the picture got it on right. In front of him, but... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think he should know. <laughs> He should be called FT one hundred one ZD Mark three. Amazing. All right, so cracking on, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, it's quite an interesting one. You've got a horizontal wire loop, full wavelength loop, about forty meters, roughly forty one, forty two meters. You feed it with coax and a four to one bell, and approximately what bands other than forty meters will it be resonant on? What do you think, Mike? All of them. If it's a loop. It's a loop, yeah. Yeah, all of them. Everything. From well, oh, I like the way it says what it split up my thing. It's approximately what bands will it be resonant on? So let's have a look. 40, 20, and 10. It will be Philip, I think, is right. You'll get 40 as well, 20, 15, and 10. So that's right. Yeah, in theory, you should have everything, shouldn't you? Because it's yeah. a loop. Yeah. So you'll get 40, and then you'll get two sevens, three sevens, four sevens, and so on. You're on the radio and there's a guy that's really clear, clear, on 12 metres, I don't know, 17. You've just switched your radio on. You hear somebody calling CQ from 8 Papa land. Where is he? Mike, do you know where 8 Papa is? No. Is that the BP station down the bottom of the road? <laughs> that's right, yes. 8 Papa. Barbados. Ah, I see. He's too good, this bloke. Yeah. Barbados. I mean, he's spelling wrong. Sorry, Anton. Can't give you it. Depends where you come from. Yeah, indeed. Okay, got a good one for you. It is Barbados. It's not that code, Andy. Chilly. Telford Lighthouse. <laughs> if you don't know, that's correct, um, Reggie. Telford doesn't have a lighthouse because it's in the middle of England somewhere. What is the most expensive production transceiver 
you can buy. Oh, I know this one. Mm-hmm. Begins with what do you H. think? It begins with an H. Yeah. Hell of a lot. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, Reggie's got it, actually. She hasn't come through on my stream yard. Here we are. There he is, yeah. The Hilberling. And I think it's called the Hilberling PT 8000A Alpha. You should see how much the ad and, is for it. Yeah. And I've read the reviews uh, the other night, actually, and I thought, mm, really? I might as well stick with mine, to be honest. And um, we're going to do, right, you might need a scrap piece of paper out here, and I'm not after speed, the hillbilly, says David Chaplin. Yeah, I, I noticed somebody on... Um... <laughs> yes, that's right. Do you remember the one that I... The Kenwood 1090S at $18,000? There's people... I've actually got an audio recording of someone telling someone else on 80 metres that Ken would have launched this and because they saw it on my my yeah. thing yeah uh, okay so this is a kind of educational round all right um as a rule of thumb what is the easiest method of converting meters to feet to assist you you might want this to describe how you convert 10 meters to feet as a rule of thumb how would you convert 10 meters to feet right, and i'm doing this for my american friends who don't care actually anyway but i'm telling them google <laughs> very good yeah anton that's a good way multiple oh, i mean that is too accurate don that is far too accurate my answer to that, when I'm just like making a video and I say like, you know, 100 meters, is is that what I do is I multiply by 10 and add 10%. So for instance, if I'm converting, I don't know, 100 meters and I quickly in my head want feet, then I go, oh, it's gonna be 300 and it's gonna be 30. So it would be about 3.30, 3.30 feet. Because a lot, unless you've done a science college degree sort of thing in the US, you just in inches, and it's a shame really because it's, we've got this mismatch, haven't we, on on imperial that, and metric. Is that about two chains? <laughs> it's, it's all furlongs. Do you remember we did furlongs <laughs> last time, right? I think you'll find that 100 feet is not a furlong. Okay, so this is a good one. All right, this is a good one. This is... You've got a reel of equipment wire, and you need to make a tightly wound coil on a 25mm or 1-inch tube. The coil is 12 inches long or 30 centimetres, and there's 130 turns. How much wire will you have to use all right and it is that one actually i made that and then what i needed to do is work out how many centimeters meters feet it was let's have a look and see what people are going to come up with how they would do it and i'll give you my workings out just for fun if you can do it all right, so I'll just 130 turns. It's an inch or 25 mil per turn, and it's about a foot or 30 centimeters long. How would you go, even if you don't have the answer? How would you go about doing that? I think Anton is very close. About 400 inches. Tim, we're trying to get people to go to the metric, old boy. <laughs> That's actually the right the right way to do this. Heinrich's got the uh, got the thing. So what I did is see, and I'll give you the answer here. This is how I did it. 
because this actually happened to me. So in, and if, can somebody get a calculator handy, ready? So I did 22 point, let's do a different color. 2.5 centimeters, which is about an inch. And um, times 3.142, which was is pi. So it takes us all the way around this bit here. So it's one inch or 25 millimeters or 2.5 centimeters times 3.142. And um, and I've got times 130 of them. Uh, my answer was, where is it? There. That was my answer. But Tim, Tim's right. It is 10 metres-ish. <laughs> so there we go. 10.4, I got. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Can somebody do 2.5 times 3.142 times 130? Plus the length as well, plus the 30 centimetres or the one foot. Bananas, Randall, there he is again. There he is with his lovely tie and shirt on. Mm. Not fair. Okay, bit more, bit more Pythagoras this time, ladies and gentlemen. Bonus question, how many Michael Henrys? Hang on a minute, oh yeah, bonus question. Um, Anton, that, thanks Anton. Yeah, it's just over 10 metres. Microhenrys, I happen to know that's about 30, 35 microhenrys. But how would we... You can't calculate that in your head, though, can you? You need uh, the formula. Yeah, or Pacific 66, or 66 <laughs> Pacific, whichever. Oh, no, the senator. So I think, Randall, we can call the senator now. I think he's a winner, actually. Anybody who looks like that has got to be a winner, isn't he? Yep. All right, we have a small tower, okay? It's just 40 foot high, 12 metres. And what we're going to do is we need to place three guys at 10 metres height. The radius... They're big, they're big guys, aren't they? Uh, oh, wrong one. Yeah, yeah. so we've got, got this tower, all right? 10 metres... And the six meters we need to work out how long that guy is that's 10 and that's six oh, how do we go about that how do we go about that any idea actually that is almost the right answer i think Where's it gone? It's gone whizzing past. It's Jody. 30. It is 35. So how do we do that? Is Well done, Tim. 10. 10 times 10. 6 times 6. So that's 100. 6 times 6. 6 is a 36. 136. 136. That's a square. The square root of 136 is 35 give or take and there's a few people there but you know you see the thing is i didn't learn any of this at school but it's so much easier if you've got a hobby to learn the maths behind it do you find that when you've actually you know yeah yep so if you can do all this you can pass your amateur exam oh, nick, nick hammond has got it absolutely right look there we are yeah just Thank you, Nick. Star well Trek. Watch Star yeah. Trek. Now, I wonder if this um, is going to... Sp I'm going to put this into two comments. That one. And that one. So we're using very high-quality coax on 70 centimetres. The coax spec says we have a 12 dB loss over 100 metres. <laughs> the coax run is 50 metres long to the base of the antenna. We have a 50 watt radio. How much power is reaching the antenna? Have you had too much to drink to do this, Mike? <laughs> because I wrote the question and couldn't remember the answer. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> oh dear. Anton's already got it. Yeah, well, it's, oh, it's and so 12 is Mike. Yeah, it's 12 this watts. Mike guy is pretty good, actually. He should have a YouTube channel. No, he's, no, he's rubbish. 
Oh, there's the president, uh, the senator, Senator Randall. Yeah, that's right. It is. Um, it's half and half again, anyway. So. Yeah, half and half again. That's right. Uh, okay, Mike, how would you work this one out? You're making a dipole. Is it a good one? Or is it a <laughs> yeah, it's very pole? good. Yeah. Let's see if this splits it up. I don't be too long, is it? Oh, that's no, good. Making a dipole. You want to transmit on 14285, assuming 100% velocity factor, so the thing's made of bare silver wire and nothing else affecting your antenna. How long should each dipole leg be? Right. 14285. Um, would, would you like me to do that? Yeah, go on then. All right. okay. I'll do it as well. I'll do it as well. I'll do 300 divided by. That's what what I is it? 14. 14. 0.285 equals that'll be the wavelength. What do we do? Divide it by divide it by four. Divide it by four. Or, or divide it by yeah, divide it by four. Oh bloody. Mike's come up with it in inches. Where's he gone? My my, my my mouse is slowing down to be very careful. Something's going wrong with my world here. Whatever Tim says. Five metres, two five, yeah. 525. Where's Mike? Oh, there he is. So Mike says it's 16 feet. 16, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. 16, 16 foot 38. What does that mean? How, how many Can someone in America in... explain what 1638 means? Is that 16 means? foot 38 inches? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it reads like, doesn't it? A stupid measurement. <laughs> he says he can do it in bow things, if you prefer that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Mike, you'll actually be able to do this one. It doesn't matter how much you've had to drink. No, I don't. But don't. <laughs> no, no, no. You've got three resistors connected in series. I believe oh. that's end to end. Would that be right? Yeah, that would do it, wouldn't it? 100 ohms, 30 ohms, and 7 ohms. Okay. What is the total resistance in the circuit? Oh, I can tell you that. The other people have already done it. Haven't they? they have, I know. Yeah. Yeah. 137. I copied famous. that one out of one of the foundation. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was... I can't remember. What would be more fun is if you put 10 volts in one end and then you tested in between each each resistor, what would be the output? But, you know. Yeah. Voltage dividers. Uh, right, we have an amplifier. The spec says it delivers 13 dB of gain into a 50 ohm antenna, you know, with a maximum drive of 50 watts. Okay. 13 dB. 13 dB. Okay. Maximum watts. drive of 50 watts. At full power, what will be the forward power of the amplifier? 50 watts in, 13 dB gain. There you go. You got it. Wrote it. I know. Anton's very he's good, got, isn't he? He's got there even before we started. He's, he's very it's fast. It's, it's because I wrote the full word. Yeah. Okay. You see, Mike's got it right because he's allowed for the loss of the connector. <laughs> <laughs> Tim reckons you get TVI. <laughs> Actually. Uh, where's the, the nine... The 990 actually may be completely accurate. I don't know. That might be the technical accurate one. Um, Anton wants to give his points to Mike. No, it's okay. I've corrected it. Okay, now the amplifier turns out to be a 12-volt beast. We're running it on a bank of 13.8-volt batteries. And under load, the batteries are measuring 12 volts which is rather handy. We have a current meter connected and it's showing 70 amps key down. Oh, hang on. Watts. 
Ahem. So if you remember, I believe now someone tell me if I'm right here. So if we've got V over I equals R, if we keep going down here, we'll PVC. end up with watts, is that right? P V C, yeah. So V times I equals W. Yep. So let's have a look at this. I think Anton's got it right again. He should he should do amateur radio. There's a few people done it, look. Mm. Mike again. Honestly, he should have a blood and YouTube channel. Yep. Although it would be a crap one, wouldn't it? Yeah, well it would not be as good as ours. Yeah, no. Okay, uh, pencils at the ready. What device temporarily stores electrical energy through distributed charged particles on generally two plates to create a potential difference? Do you know the answer to that, Mike? Yes. Yeah. A capacitor. Which is also a battery. Not a YouTube one. So Anton is suggesting we should Mike should have like an OnlyFans thing. I I did, to be fair. And um I earned forty eight pence. <laughs> I think this is the last one. By the way, our antenna shows a gain of six dB. We're using some coax that we know is giving us about three dB of loss. We've got a ten watt radio. What is our effective radiated power? Thank you, Mark. You don't want to know that. <laughs> Mike is uh, considering the extra loss of all the... If you add Mike and Sade, you get 20. Uh, Tim gave up on his only fans. It made, me, it made his eyes water. Mm. And Mike's only fans put him off eating a sausage for a week. All right. Um... I think that's it. We've, we've done enough. We've done an hour and a half. If there's any creators that want to join us for the next part of the stream, um, don't do maths on live streams. Mike, if you want to join, check the Josh's Creators link. You feel free to join us because Mike and I and the rest of you here are now about to discuss the imaginary rules for a club meeting. Individual rules for a club meeting. Right. <laughs> That's what's coming up next. So stick around. I don't have a, like an intermediate, you know, trailer. Now, Mike, are you going to join us or are you going to stay there? No, I'm or staying anybody here. Else? No, no, sorry, I meant, I meant Mr. Death. Yeah, well, I realised that, yeah. With his cat Satan. <laughs> I think I might have my fourth beer because... Um, yeah, that's not a bad show. Actually. I'm coming in. Okay. All right, so Mike's coming in. Any other creators, YouTube channels who are in my creators chat or on Josh's creators chat, which is basically everybody who's got a YouTube channel over about a thousand, feel free. Oh, now, what's this guy saying? Usually denoted by the symbol... Oh, imaginary rules are denoted by the symbol J. Okay. Fine. That's an imaginary number, J. So that's absolutely right. These are isotropic rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike, how would we describe an isotropic antenna? How would you just tell someone what an isotropic... You know, so you've got this guy who's just taking his foundation license. You go, why do they talk? Oh, here's Mike. Here's Mike. Hang on. Let, let, let's add him. Hello, Mike. Mike is muted. Did he do it on purpose, do you think? Yeah, he's muted. I, I had me... my cat muted. 
Oh, look, it's, it's, that's the look of not quite sure how to turn my microphone on, isn't it? Oh, is he is he with us now? Yeah. Okay. No. No, he's not. <laughs> One second. Okay, well, that's fine. Are we playing charades? Now he's with us. <laughs> and now he's with us now. Right, okay. <laughs> Mike, it's a bit early there to start drinking, I would have thought, on a Sunday afternoon. In Texas. He's got his Actually, coke. Yeah, it's he's, fine. He's got his Jack, Jack Daniels in it. Oh, lovely. Actually, there's not even any coke in here anymore. Oh, jeez. All right, okay. Um, Mike, I've only had three beers. I just need to get my fourth. Yeah, cheers, Mike. Have at it. And then we're going to come up with these rules, please. <laughs> Why am I hearing an echo? I, I don't know. It's not from me. Um, Callum's on um, speakery, microphone things. <laughs> You hear it echo from me? Negative. Me? Me? From yourself? Yes, 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 yes. I think it's just from me. I, don't... I can't. I don't have anything else okay. open. I don't know. Oh, right. If you, are you still running the YouTube it's like thingy? The, it's like the CB days, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, I hear it on mic too. Two, 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 two. Really? 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> So good to. Be. Did you know there's about a 20 second delay? I don't have YouTube, don't have open. YouTube open. Really? Okay, uh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know. Really? really? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Really? So, um, yeah, yeah, okay. And, and so I can't hear any echo oh. here, Anton. Oh. Seriously, can you just give us a quick steer? Are you all right? You know, I mean, if Mike's got uh, some echo, that's his freaking problem. But I just need a I just need a fifty nine. Can you please not not sixty nine? Just just for yeah, it's too much of a mouthful. Can you please just for a few few for the next ten minutes, Callum, change your name to Mike? Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Let's have a look. Settings. And from now on, he's Mike as well. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, camera. Mike. 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 I don't. I just don't know how to do that. Okay. Hot keys, layout. Useless. Uh, banners, banners. I could just remove all display names. Oh, no. We won't know who we are. Um, I can take off the DX Commander thing. There we are. Mike's got his little logo branding look. Where? Oh, yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. I could turn that on. So I've got mine. Action. He's got all his toys now, look. Yeah, we're just, you know. There's a slight echo. Someone's left a YouTube oh, video on, says Brett. Okay, well, what we'll do is I'll mute Mike and then... Oh, hang on. Well... Anton is saying, Anton, I mean, basically, did I, when it was just Mike and I, MSN and me, did you have Echo then? No, it's all my, it's fault. All my fault. Oh, right, okay. Gosh, that was loud. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Hmm. I didn't know I was a Ford fan diver. <laughs> are, you, are you happy now, Mike? <laughs> yes, I'm always happy. He's not 100% sure. All right, okay, so um, let's come up with these rules. I'm looking for you guys on the live chat to um, help me out here. But I think if you are going to a club meeting, actually, I'll tell you what we could do. is um, If you go, let's say you want to join a radio club and you turn up, all right, how should you be dressed? There we are. How should you be dressed? Well, for a start off, I think you ought to have one of those gilets on with all the pockets and buttons and snaps and a zip. Do you oh, have a pocket a protector, protector for all the pockets? For all the pockets? And a pop oh, probably at least one of them. Oh, wait a minute. Mike might have one. Right. Tim so is also suggesting... Got to wear a gilet. Make yeah, sure okay. you don't shower for at least four days. Might hate him. I'm, I'm thinking it should be four weeks, to be frankly. Hang on, yeah. hang on. I can't do I can't that, do instantly. that instantly. Okay, but you you know the gilets with the zip and all, like the fishermen wear, with all the different pockets. 
pocket mm -hmm. protectors. Yeah, you should have some on. pens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mike's got one. Uh, here we go. Hang on. No, Mike, that's too posh. Oh, shut up. I'm doing my best. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. You got your... Fine. For you, from your work. So you've come from your work. Okay, and you've got... It's good. So that's zip and poppers. Is that right? Hang on. Yeah, hang on. Zip and <laughs> poppers. Right. Oh, that's very good. Where's your handy? <laughs> hey, you gotta have that. Come on, man. That's it. You got your handy. Mike's got one too. All right, I got that one there too. That's right. So at least, least probably two handies. One, one on seventy. I on never the got repeater. that. You're all, you're with all of the ham radio guys in your club. Why do you need to bring the HT in with you? Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. You said what? You what? Oh, <laughs> oh, on the side. Yeah, I got yeah. that one too. That one too. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. All right, so now, Mike, so the problem, you've got a fundamental problem with that gilet. Over. Right? <laughs> Over, right, yeah. which is there's no gravy or custard down it. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to bring the donuts. <laughs> That's better. Lovely. Okay. So... What the hell is that? Oh, screwdriver. Right. Don't be screwdriver. Go screwdriver, that's right. You take me right to a park just in case I need yeah. to. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Right. Right. Over there. And then the other thing, of course, that you do at your interview is you don't listen, you tell. What? Okay, so at your interview, you tell them how no, many you, HTs you've got. No, you got that wrong. You got that wrong. You've, you, you, right, you no, no, sorry, I'm not, sorry I'm not having that. that. You got it wrong. Right. right. What you got to do, do is tell them tell that them this that this, this this is on forty meters. You can get anything on this. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You I'm don't just, need any of those uh, clap trappy things. Just need this. Um. Okay. So uh, you've got coloured jogging bottoms on as well. Oh, you want, your rod, your rod beat has got to be on the handy. You are pushing, you are your, pushing your, luck. your luck. Okay. Honestly. Um, you've definitely got, be... got the gravy stain, which is good, so I've got that bit right. You've got to be so fat that's well. nice. Like that. Oh, All right. Dave. <laughs> right, okay. You're looking a bit too slim there, Mike. Oh, uh, sorry. sorry. I'm trying my hardest. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, oh, here's a good one, yes. Anton Rex, you need an LED name badge with your call sign and name flashing. Right. I'm Ideally, that you, home, that you home brewed it. Right, and you have to tell, you have to tell people that you home brewed it. You've got an embroidered call sign hat. <laughs> Hang on, it's Hang on. brilliant. <laughs> you've got, sorry, you've got, you've got your underpants worn on the outside. Oh, look at Mike's nearly there. Where's your call right. sign, mate? <laughs> <laughs> You've also got a T-shirt with your call sign on. Take it a piss now. Yeah. <laughs> where's your Where's your magnetic call sign badge? Yeah, and Rex, you need a butt plug, right? <laughs> you so need wild hair. <laughs> what well, so, hat? Yeah, KE4RXM reckons he's so he's doing all this next month. What with the butt plug as well? <laughs> um, so Brett, huge. You got to have huge headphones from the eighties. Oh, um, oh <laughs> Mike, I've just realised oh, you got you got everything on you. <laughs> Sake, you guys had fans as well. <laughs> right, you're in. You're in. Yeah. Temporary year, mate. I got my detector outside. <laughs> the dues are still $35. Ke 4 RXM reckons Kenwood actually made a headset with an antenna. <sighs> This is what um, I used to wear Nathan wants to know if if Messi and Poloni make butt plugs. <laughs> if they did, it would be a low loss one. <laughs> Very little insertion loss. <laughs> <laughs> careful. Okay. So you've passed your interview, right? 
Now I want, I want you to describe to me <laughs> these. Some, some bugger to do the SWR, no? <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is, yeah. Uh, okay. So Alan Reader is seriously busy himself laughing. <laughs> um, Fucking, he should be wearing this. <laughs> Oh, Mike, I hope you take a picture. That's going to be your next thumbnail. Okay. okay, so you've joined, you're in the club. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I just want to accelerate through to the field day, right? This is the summer field day. Summer? With all this? Summer. I'm bloody sweating me cobs off here. Yeah. <laughs> that adds to the stink. Beamy ranks the 16 mil, which is three quarter inch, is an excellent plug. <laughs> <laughs> so Fuck you out. turn up at field day i want you to describe ladies and gentlemen on the live chat i want you to describe to me the vehicle that you will turn up in and i'm not going outside <laughs> and it better be a bloody good vehicle <laughs> you can take your shit off now mate oh, thank i want you to describe to me how you should turn up to field day and what your vehicle is going to look like and uh, let's just see what happens. So, okay, Mike, you won't know what a Reliance Robin is, but it's a little, tiny little fiberglass three-wheeler. Oh, you've got to find one on Facebook or something. And okay, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll find one, I'll find one. Reliance, Reliance. Robin. Yeah. It is... Um, images. So... Yeah, I'll let you do all the work. Actually, that's a bloody good radio. So, yeah. should be a free minute. Uh, room is stop. Uh, present. Share screen. Window. So, a Reliant Robin. Oh, oh God. Uh, horses. <laughs> yeah, look, Does that say 26 like pounds? I think that's a model. Yeah, it's a, it's a model, that is. Yeah. Or, no, that's a oh, Euro that's thing, a right? <laughs> It's a, uh, this guy's got a working oh, no, fire engine. Wow. Uh, they did discover if you go around a corner too fast, the thing just flips over. Um, but if Why I would search you do for. That? Yeah, I know. Ham radio. Were they just really Robin. short on wheels there? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there, there it is. It's just it's, it's three wheels, top right. Uh, no, it's, it's wow. because you could drive it on a motorbike license. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, that's why the three wheels. Okay. Huh. Okay, so anyway, what else we've got? Um we've got an electric bike with a basket and a trailer. Oh, there's Jennifer. She was the winner of the What did she win, Mike? The baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> just, um just... so Ray reckons a Fiat five hundred turn a fifteen meter crank up tower with stacked forty meter monobounders. I mean, that's not a bad idea. No, it isn't, actually, is it? <laughs> so, um, whatever vehicle you drive, porcupine's the name when you arrive, yeah. Well, you got to okay, have multiple so, antennas. Yeah, you got it. So, here we are. This Brian reckons you have a Land Rover Discovery one with a DX Commander on the rack, which is up right at the back or up, up the roof. Or maybe an HD with... Um, some sort of thing on it. This guy wants a signature. To, Beamy wants a signature 12 on the roof. But okay, so you get out of the car, but what are you wearing? It's a very hot day. This Shorts. is a very hot day. Shorts, right? Most importantly, you gotta you gotta rock out with your Crocs out. You got Crocs. Crocs are okay, but you've got away knee length socks. <laughs> the, the compression <laughs> ones. <laughs> well, sorry, not the sexy over the knee socks, but the ones oh, no. that come under oh, no. the knee, just below the knee. Yeah, I just got to say, uh, Jimmy BX 007 Well done, mate. Uh, okay, so, so, Jody Rex, you have cargo shorts pulled up to your chest. Okay. Ray, I'm going to be hanging out at the Icon booth dressed like that, buddy. <laughs> ah, it's Ray. A mankini like Borat. Very good. Very nice. Yuck some ass. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is the khaki shorts and the checkered shirt, I think, is uh, perfect. Oh, that's, that's obligatory. But presumably you have the baseball hat with the call sign. You, you need all your interview stuff on, you know, the flashing lights with your call sign. You're three or four. That's it. That's it. That with the call. Oh, my gosh. I didn't. What's your name? Vlad. Yes. yes. Very good. Oh, yes. You need a tank top. Oh, Alan, do you have, uh, Mike, do you have tank tops there? You know, the little woolly, woolen tank top? Made by Abrams. Yeah. Do you know what a tank top looks like in America? Uh, we have tank tops in America, yes. We call them wife uh, beaters. Yes. Wife beaters. Yeah, okay, on, fine. Sorry. Wife beater. Okay. Like beat your wife. Yeah. 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 So they're a nice little tank top. Like that. Oh, that's we have not it? a tank top. Oh, that okay. Is, that's, well, that's, 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 a, that's a that's a sweater, sweater thing. thing. Sweater. Okay. Vest. Well, I mean, oh, yes. what what is a tank that's, top that's, then? That right that's there. That's just that just, white just t-shirt that thing. thing. Yeah, that's more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, do we do we do we have to have tanks? Do we? Oh, of course. We've got socks with sandals, says Nick. Oh, yes. That's, That's a good look. look. That's a very good look. Uh, and let me read this. The safari hunter look is also appropriate with the fishing hat. Well, yes. And well. uh, we've got the wife fronts with the slippers. Yeah, we've done that. Um, so Nathan reckons we have a double RL tattoo on our forehead, <laughs> even though you're from Bristol <laughs> in England. Uh, hey, Keith, how you doing, Smokey? Uh, uh, yeah, do we have, is tattoos appropriate for regular geeky ham radio guys, do you think? Depends what tattoo. Depends, yeah. Is, yeah. Mm. Okay. I mean, if it's of a um, bowfang, for sure. On both now, halves. I've got to say, DB3MI, Bimmy, give me the German holiday look. Describe it for me. That's later. It's not jock strap yeah. with flip flops. So let me, let me just type it on my thing here. That's for German later. holiday. Look. Oh, that was Lederhosen. Lederhosen. Oh, man. Yeah. Funny. You can slap each other's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I always think fine length leather boots do it for you. <clears throat> What should I wear on holiday in Germany? It's uh, suggesting to me. How do I spell Lederhosen? Lederhosen. Uh, That's not how you spell it. It's definitely got more than one. Uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah. I mean, is that good for field day? <laughs> there you, that's, that's my that's my icon. Uh, that's my icon booth look right there. Um, uh, I'll be taking pictures and signing or, autographs. Or, or is that is that a different field day? <laughs> You're definitely not coming to the next one looking like that, Callum. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, you can see what I'm like. Uh, <laughs> Keith Ray, was, oh shit, what have I just walked into? Uh, Oh, so you need a mankini with a high vis vest? Oh, for God's sake! No, you don't need the yeah. vest. Okay, Mark. Mark's got to, actually a vintage HP pocket protector, fully loaded, every colour pen, <laughs> H, and, a, and a nice screwdriver. Oh, I'll tell you what, you, you know, remember, do you remember the old LED calculators? I think they should have one of those as well. Oh, with the, yes, with the red, letters. red letters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ones you could spell boob and. And upside down that's well, it you, Boom. you can still do that with modern calculators yeah they're just yeah but it was good. even better when it was the little red yeah. red things yeah. show, it show it off it like a hundred miles away and you could yeah. still see it because who is don will banks of ham nation has a tat don oh i see mike's disappeared he'll be back oh. that's oh, all right on me he, he uh, don't worry, mate. That's fine. Put, you you, 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 better you, this way. you do you indeed. Put another quart in the meter. Is there a Don Banks or Don Will Banks? Yeah, Don uh, Will whatever. Banks. Whatever. So, oh, right. Okay. Now, is this in code that I don't understand? Too sorry. Whatever. Oh, yes. I remember. Shell oil you could type, couldn't you? <laughs> Dennis wants to know if everybody is doing good. Dennis, we've been here for one hour, five minutes, and. 
we're still no, talking. No, we're not doing very well at all. <laughs> um, so far, boobs. Uh, it's not very good. good on, it's the wrong font. <laughs> okay, so we've got... <clears throat> I really enjoyed the interview, okay, where you've got the hat with the call sign, you've got the flashing lights... <laughs> And so on. We've got um, the field day. You've still got all that. But you've got the shorts on now, with the with the woolen tank top. What is a tank? To, what does Mike mean by a tank top? Oh, with a vest. Yes. So we've no, got the no. big long socks with the sandals, the vest, the hat, the shorts up to his, nearly his boobs, and the vehicle. What was the vehicle? Would, are we going to go with an old crappy Discovery from Land Rover with a huge or multiple? No, no, no. I'm sorry, mate. It has to be a trike with a trailer. A trike? With a trailer. Um, with a trailer. The the, yeah, the trailer's got okay. all the radio kit in. Uh, okay, yeah, fine. And it's a, a trike as a push bike. Yeah. Oh, it's a push bike. Yeah, oh, so we are. Oh, I like it. Okay, fine. All right, now I just want to imagine the same man at the annual general meeting where the chairman or woman has sent out a note to say, could we, um, could we make an effort on, the, um, on our dress sense because David from the AORRL or Steve or someone is turning up, you know, to, you know, to to witness the annual general meeting he's going to give a talk afterwards there we are right <clears throat> so what are we going to wear you got to dress up for that yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna in his this is the guy remember with the shorts the socks the sandals the hats the leds and everything else his gonna... his idea of dressing up is well you gotta put summer? on dress socks and sandals oh okay is it in the summer Mm. It's important. What does it friggin' matter? It does. It's important. Okay. Why? Because if it's in the summer, he's got to wear a kaggle. Uh huh. A kaggle. Yes. A kaggle. Oh, that's a a kaggle. Um, a waterproof. Yes. That's right. If it's in the summer. A lightweight waterproof jacket if it, thing. If it's winter, well, he's got to have a great coat. Is there anything oh underneath goodness. that grey coat? Well, Jess yes. is telling me there's only 107 people watching. That's pathetic. I'm not surprised the way we're Gary, you know. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised, I'm to... surprised we've kept that many. Yeah. <laughs> um, only from the knees down. Yeah, okay, yeah, fine. All right. And I just want to briefly talk about... Mouth hygiene. I don't know if you've ever been to a computer fair or a ham radio fest oh. and somebody's turned around and you just said... It's getting real serious now. Yeah. Are you buying any of that 12 mil coax and the stink of <laughs> decaying flesh is blown over you? They've been chewing on some of those uh, Messi and Poloni connectors from earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> The good in insertion. all serious, in all serious, the guys. <laughs> in all serious, guys. If you are going to a ham, any sort of meeting, it's a, a genuinely a very good idea to have a shower. What monthly, Mike? A daily is a good thing for me. Daily, right? Yeah. Okay, so wash. All right. Get your fingernails looking so there's not so he's much lost grime. His again. Yeah, he's lost his camera again. Yeah. Yeah. Budgie yeah. smugglers. Don't worry, Mike. Uh, so, I'm not. you know, bathe, shave, things like if you'd normally shave, shave. If you normally wash your hair, wash your hair, you know, brush your teeth. Look at your clothes and have, don't smell them yourself because you'll never smell your own smell, okay? So you either wash properly, oh, put on you, clean you, clothes, you, you then can. you can go to your club. <laughs> wash your clothes. <sighs> yeah, that's a good idea. With, with, with detergent. detergent. Uh, absolutely. I know, Nathan, I'm a once, ma once a month man, but, you know, if they oh, want to do daily. I brush my teeth, brush my teeth twice, a day. twice a day. Snap. Only twice. Only twice. Yeah. 
Only twice. twice. Well, I only got two well, teeth. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Whatever you do, Nick is suggesting we put an anorak on over the top. Yes, that's the most important item. Good. All right. Um, oh, so it's what, 21, 21, 41. Okay. So now we're going to go to phase three of this. I'm expecting most of you to bugger off now. Thank you. Goodbye, Mike, because you're going to miss. I'll cut this bit out because this is all going to be swearing and things like that. <clears throat> I The last time I sat here and actually did a video, Mike, was a month ago. I haven't done any videos for about a month. I've released them slowly, right? but I haven't done because I've got, um, I've been too busy. I've got a massive... Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> massive announcement to make. <laughs> massive announcement to make, Mike, and I can't, I can't tell anybody about it. I'm about a week away from it. Yeah, so maybe, awful. Mike, you have me on your show and I can do this huge announcement. Which mic are you talking to? Well, it wouldn't be me. I haven't got a show. <clears throat> Not yet. Not yet. You could. No, I, won't, I won't go down this route. My Callum, we, we still have I'm a, not going to sell myself out. I'm not going to sell myself out to you lot, I tell you. I'd Let's put our dismay band back on again. So Mike MSN, I mean, he's, you're over 15,000 subs now, MSN. Yep, I've done them all myself. Mm. You don't know how long it takes to make up all of these pseudo people. Uh, I, I write a script. I've done 21,000 scripts. You have to lend me that. Um, okay, so yeah, anyway, so uh, K8, Mr. Death, you'll have to have me uh, on his show and I can, I can do the announcement on your show if you like. Sure. That would be a wicked surname, wouldn't it? Michael Death. That's Mr. Death to you. Okay, sorry, Mr. Death. Or K Murder. K -murder. <laughs> Mike, did you um, did you pick that call sign, or was it allocated to you, or what? So... No, it's a vanity. It's my initials. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, of course, because D for um, death. Death. Deckhead. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> MSN, Mike, have you ever, if you never gone live on your channel? No, no, no one wants to watch me. Why on the earth would they want to watch? I've got You'd nothing to talk surprised. about. Anyway. No, I've got nothing to talk well, about. Well, I've got 103 people watching ours or something. <laughs> I've done live streams live where I'm literally just literally testing, and it's called test. test. You go yeah, live, yeah, yeah. and they show up. Yeah. <laughs> i got nothing interesting, Mike. That's the problem. So I mentioned to Jason, actually, if they're doing a channel takeover. So all you do is you send me the stream key for my OBS. So you create a new stream key, send it to me. I do a channel takeover, and I do a live stream on, say, your channel, you know, from my radio station. Huh. This channel take... I mean, you've got ultimate control, obviously, so I'm not going to start, you know, swearing or <laughs> stripping off or anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to start stripping off. <laughs> Never know, Mike. Get some more subscribers. Yeah. So... um <clears throat> Jeremy reckons the test streams are the best. Then I'll never do another one. So Don Don says, right, he would watch MSN put her around his kitchen. How about that? Oh, well, there we are then. See, you got one viewer. Uh, hang on, I didn't want to show that. I wanted to click that one there. Okay, there's 107 now. And there was 111, so they're drifting off really quickly. I think what we should do is <laughs> hit, a, hit a button and end this blooming show now. Oh, so please. I need another beer. Yeah, so do I. Uh, praise, ladies and gentlemen. Um, us three are going to stay in the green room, and I'm going to press a button now, and it's all over. Okay? Is that all right, Mike? Sure. Live long and fester. Live long and fester. Lovely. Uh, there's a button here I can show. It says end live. Plays a little slightly artifacted, nasty bit of music. But anyway, you'll get the idea.
we're actually still alive. <laughs> I'll hit end. Bye-bye, everybody. Uh...